Hi, welcome to another episode of Randomly Molly, another episode of Vlogmas 2020. Yeah, anyway. Um I realize that I don't have the most exciting background, guys, but it is well. <laughs> it's a real okay. I feel like now that I've said it, you're going to notice. You may not have noticed before and I'll just blame myself. Anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Today, I'm going to share with you the birth of Marley as a person, as a brand, as a just yes, how the whole thing came to be. I think I get many questions. It's so interesting. Many times when I meet people and I introduce myself and I say, my name is Marley with an R, you know, the R is like the most important part. My name is Marley, <gasps> you know, and people are like, what does your name mean? People are always so intrigued by the name Marley. So I'm like, oh, hi, my name is Marley. They're like, oh, wow, what does Marley mean? People think that I'm exotic. They think I don't come from Uganda. They think that, especially when I say it with the accent, with Marley, it's I really don't sound Ugandan, man. <laughs> but um, I am. So people ask me. I feel like every time people ask me the meaning of the name, I'm like, you're killing the vibe. Like, just say it's a nice name and keep it pushing. But anyway, I'll give the people what the people want. The birth of Marley. <laughs> so, my real name, you ready? You ready for this? Are you really ready? I've talked about this before on my YouTube channel, actually. Uh, one of my earlier videos when I just started from like last year, you can find it somewhere if you'd like to watch it. It's called, I'll drop a link below. It was just, I was just answering questions about very interesting random questions, but anyway, yeah. So I was born, Damali. That's my real name, my first name, my full name. It's Damali. I was named after my mother's grandmother. Yes, her mom's, her dad's mom. It's very interesting because like in our family, even in the extended family, but even like at home, especially for me and my sister, like you're born with a name. First of all, you don't have English names because they're overrated. Damali isn't an English name, by the way, if just in case you think it is. If you want proof, type it into Microsoft Word and see if it doesn't bring that current squiggly line. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, yes. So, I, uh, what did I do? Yes, so I was born Damali, and it's not an English name. So in my family, we generally don't have English names, and when you're born it's like you have there's an attachment like you have your first name with a nickname like the two come together it's like a package so i was called damali but they've been calling me mali for the longest time like i i found the name there also i mean i didn't like i didn't invent it i didn't create it so damali d-a-m-a-l-i-e and mali is m-a-l-i-e that's the way that you know, of course, you just shorten it, you just remove the dad, put Mali, you know, just to shorten their names a bit or whatever. It's like, I think almost everyone, by the way, that has a child, like, if your child has, like, a longish name, unless your child's name is, like, Eve or something, like, what are you going to shorten it to, like, Eve, you know? But generally, I think many times, you know, you have a baby and you start shortening their names or giving them interesting nicknames or things like that. So that's what it was for me. Damali, they, I guess, played around with different things and settled with Mali, so that was my nickname. Um, kind of like my sister, like my sister's full name is Birabwa Birungi, so they called her BB. So it has like a song, funky spelling, and everything, but like it's just we found it there, like it's just like she grew up being called that. So, um, yeah, I was called Mali for like the longest time. So I joined school, first of all, I didn't even know my name was Damali, I promise you. Like, I just because as a child, you know, if you fill in forms, passport details, many of what, many of what school forms. Like when you're five or six years old, your parents do that for you. Like you don't fill in your forms. So those are things that my parents would do. I guess they would write Damali, blah, blah, whatever. I genuinely didn't know. So like P4, P5. Like if you look at my books from like P1 to like P3, I think. If you look at my projects, artworks, blah, 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 stuff. We have them, by the way, I have all of them. My mom has a file with everybody's stuff. 
Mali is what's written the whole entire time. Then I think P4, P5 is, you know, they start, you know, asking you to find a name, settle on a name, you know, start figuring out what you'd like to put on your academic papers come P7. So I think then I was having a conversation with my parents and they're like, yeah, we'll use the names. I have so many names, first of all. So try and figure out which names to settle with. And then they settled on Damali, Karungi, those going to be another long story but anyway so Damali that's where Damali came up and I was like oh okay I see that's my version of the story by the way my parents version might be different but I genuinely feel like I became like aware of the fact that my name was Damali in like P4P5 like no no lies so I remember once I was in S2 or S3 and it, it was New Year's even I remember so New Year's in our house was always like the laziest day. So usually that's when we'd lay around, lounge around the house, watch a movie as a family, you know, read a book, play some board games, like just chill, relax, do your thing. So one of those days we were having a conversation. So I, at that point, was very obsessed with Facebook. Like I used to use Facebook quite a lot. And there was this thing amongst like people my age and like there was just a thing people were changing their facebook names all the time there was a point where you use like very long like a very long word in the middle it's like four words put together but like of something really cute like in the middle is your middle name so i remember my name at some point was marley mali without the r mali um little mesa hot stuff keisha then at some point you use like you get two of your friends and oh my god so bad i remember all the things but you get like two of your friends and you say so then i had a name marley loves emoto and yanzi keisha then yanzi's name was loves marley and moto and then moto's name was loves yanzi and marley oh, guys we were so lame but also so cute so generally there was that thing so people like i you know the way people like change profile pictures maybe regularly or change like me i changed names regularly like my facebook name regularly until facebook has a cap and they some of you might not know because you're organized and you use the same name forever they have a cap to how many names you can change it's like five or six there's a point where i reached a cap and i had to wait for a bit and then i was like okay i need to find a name one name that i'm going to use that's gonna stick so some my dad was joking around this is unrelated to this other thing like he wasn't aware that you know i was always changing because of course i had my parents on facebook but i blocked them so he was like he asked me he said one day in jokes important to note it was in jokes i know that it was in jokes but it was a joke that for me inspired something i'm like haha yes so he was like ah, by the way people because people every time i'd introduce myself to people who would be like oh mali like the country i'm like kind of but with e at the end sometimes we'll be like oh wow like bob mali then i'm like uh wow well. You know whatever he's like then people always ask if you're like bob marley related to bob marley what i'm like yeah man you feel me then he laughed we joked about it and he's like by the way if you want to change your name to like you know to write it like bob marley you think you think you're so cool or whatever you can do that and i laughed i'm like haha okay then later that day i think it was later that day but i know that it was within like the same sort of time frame ish like the words were still in my head i was on facebook i was able to change my name i'm like what did i change my name to so i liked the name keisha like Keisha Maza is my favorite name. So I kept the Keisha, but at that time I wasn't using it in full. Then I was like, actually, why don't I add like an R to my name? Funkify it a little bit, you know, add some spice. Um, and I didn't want it to be exactly, I didn't want it to be exactly like the Bob Marley name, which is M-A-R-L-E-Y. So I'm like, let me switch it up a little bit. So I just added an R. That's all I needed to do. So Bob Marley's name is M-A-R-L-E-Y. Mine is M-A-R-L-I-E. And I looked at it and I liked it. Of course, at the time, I thought I might change it again. I might not. But it has actually really stuck. And because most of the people from that point, all the people that have, you know, had me on Facebook or on social media or whatever from that point have sort of seen the Mali with an R kind of thing. So it has, it has become such a thing that it has stuck. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? It's fine. And then... I started then I started picking up interest in the name Keisha Maza and just using it in full because I was like it's such a beautiful name I stopped using Keisha because people would keep calling me Keisha and I'm like yeah it ain't an English name it's not it's such an African-American name and I didn't like it because it was being Englishified 
a lot. I'm like, no, it's not Keisha. My name is Keisha Maza. It's Keisha. And I constantly had to explain myself. So I ditched the Keisha eventually and just put it in full and used Keisha Maza. And then just slowly like that, it started to pick up. So many of the people that have known me since like 2011 moving forward know me as Mali Keisha Maza. People that know me before, they know Mali like without the R. Maybe they know me as Keisha or they know me as any of my other names that are on my school certificates, which are many. That's a story for another day. I have three different, my P7, my O level and my A level and my university all have four different names. <laughs> if you want to hear that story, just let me know in the comment section. I'll tell you about it one day. Um, so yes, that's how the name came about. And it's just, you know, then I got the Marley Keisha Mazas, the Marley Keisha Mazas stuck. And then just like that, it became a brand. I really liked the name. People know me as that name. So then I just started, got a logo made, everything. So I'm trying to see how to make it a bigger thing than now just a logo and a name. Like I want to have more like a company, like a full on brand with like Mali Keisha Maza. But I'm just trying to figure out like what would it do? Like, yeah, okay, I want Mali Keisha Maza. Then after like what would it do? Then even the name. I'm going to get married one day. Uh, but I think I'll keep that name to be honest. It's such a beautiful name. Like I would want the legacy of the name to continue. I would like to take on my husband's name when I get married. But I would still like the legacy of the name Keisha Maza to continue because I just, I think it's such a beautiful name. I need to find something to do with the name, some, some way, something to do and make use of it. But yeah, that's what that is. So that has been, that basically was the birth of Marley with an R. <laughs> um, yes, thank you very much for watching another episode of Ransomly Marley. Oh, I like Ransomly Marley. I like that. That's like a good exit eh? or even beginning. Hi guys. Welcome to another episode of Ransomly Marley. I just, I like it. Okay. Uh, make sure you turn on the notification bell so you're alerted every time a new video goes up. In this Vlogmas season, I post a video every single day. I'll be doing that until the 24th of December. Um, 6 p.m. is the time that I post. And um, yeah, share this with a friend or five or ten. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening. Have a great day. I don't know when you're watching this, but stay blessed.